Good morning guys! Welcome back to my channel and as you can see uh, I have a new setup for my painting because I finally got an easel for myself and I got this yesterday. It's a, a black wooden easel. It's a working easel and I really love it because you know I'm in a much more comfortable position when I'm painting compared to you know when I'm on the floor. So this will be the first time, the very first time that I'll be doing a painting that I'm seated properly. <laughs> so okay for today's painting I chose an egg painting because as you know I love eggs and I love painting eggs. I love eggs. So yes let me tell you the colors that I'll be using for today's egg. We have titanium white, permanent orange, cat yellow, permanent yellow deep or transparent yellow, and black. Let's begin now guys. Okay, so we're only using like five colors today because you know, eggs do not have a lot of colors to be honest. So I'm gonna underpaint first the egg white. So I'll be using some gray color. Mm, okay, so let's begin now guys. I'm gonna get my white now. I'm gonna add some black to it. Just gray it a bit, you know, you don't have to make a lot of, or too much gray or too dark gray. Okay. And let's begin now. So we'll also be doing some bubbles later. Bubbles, uh, the bubbles of the egg. But that will be later. So just do this first. We're actually underpainting it. Actually, I think I have to, I have to, um, wait guys. Mm have to screw it like down all right okay I'm just screwing it down because I feel like it's not tight enough all right <laughs> okay that's much better Okay, again, just color it yellow, I mean gray, gray color. Okay, keep going guys. Just making some more grayish color. It's too gray. Hmm, I think that's too gray. So I'm gonna use a lot more water. Someone asked me, how do you like it? How do you like painting using an easel? Well, I kind of like it though, because it gave me that fresh um, way of doing things, you know? It's not just on the floor. Sometimes uh, it kind of paints my, um, 
my leg because I always sit cross-legged. Okay, just continue. We have, we're doing a big egg. Actually, these are two fried eggs. Uh, like in one. You can use water down gray if you want. Let's go in between. Okay. I kind of like it. It's quite textured because uh, yeah, I kind of like it. So I'm so excited to do the bubbles for this egg. I'm listening to some ASMR sounds right now. That's why I'm on my head on my earphones while talking to you guys. So just keep painting it gray color. And the two round thing here, the two round things here will be the egg yolk. So we're gonna be under painting that with a different color. For now, let's just finish this white part, the egg white. And those other circles will be the bubbles. I'm just marking where they are. Well, they are not supposed to be there. They are not supposed to be strictly there. Or you can move them anywhere you want because we're painting an egg, guys. We have no idea where the bubbles are gonna go if uh, we're actually frying an egg. I like it already. And it's just the underpainting. Let me see. Okay. All right. So. After we've uh, color, um, not color after we have underpainted this egg white even extend it this far all right like that okay I'm gonna get um, more dark gray so I'm just gonna add black to my white okay and we're gonna underpaint this uh, other part parts of the egg this will um block the bubbles this is where uh, we're gonna place our bubbles just color block it first we're gonna use dark gray as an underpainting for the bubbles but later it will not be like that of course we're just trying to underpaint it and identifying where they should go it's like doing an abstract but as a whole, it's making some realistic sense, right? All right. Okay. Again, some dark gray color. Here. some more dark right here These are not the white 
uh, the egg yolk, guys. It's just uh, a mark where the bubbles are gonna go. So, I'm feeling quite army. You know that? Uh, um, it's a very comfortable position because my, my, my back is like flat and like that. But my head, my arm, is getting quite like tired. <laughs> Probably you've experienced that. <laughs> but of course, this is only because this is the first time that I'm doing this. I'll get used to this, you know, as I go on. And I kind of like it, really, to be honest. I really like that I'm seated properly. So we're just marking where the bubbles are gonna go, guys. This is not the actual thing, we're just trying to mark them. Okay, here as well. Actually, you can use your fingers. Like that. that all right so we're gonna wash our brush out and then I'm gonna get some orange color I'm gonna get my orange now and we're gonna um, I'm gonna add some tiny bit of black to it so that it's quite toned down I'm gonna underpaint the egg yolk I know it's weird that I'm gonna be using some orangey color but later again it will make sense just gonna try to fix that Okay, the next egg yolk, here. I chose orange as the as the underpainting for the egg yolk because I kind of like the mm, the yellow on top of the orange. It's more realistic. It's the depth of the egg yolk. It is to provide provide depth. It's not because that's the color of the egg yolk, but uh, when you paint. Uh, yellow over it then the orange will just uh, peek through all right okay so now I think this is okay it's quite dry I'm gonna get my mm, cat yellow I'm gonna I'm not gonna wash my brush so that the orange paint is still there I'm just gonna uh, mix it with my cad yellow using my brush and I'm gonna reapply or repaint the egg yolk okay I know you probably be telling me that oh why don't you just mix yellow orange and underpaint it yellow orange no I don't want to I don't want to because um, 
we're not trying to make a uh, pure blending here we're trying to create some depth by making some areas dark and making some areas light so we're not trying to mix them just like that because that would have been easier right i would have done it already if that's what i want all right so i just went around the the orange part go around it and then you can blend but do not include the middle part just don't include that middle part all right we're not we're gonna wait for it to dry for a while we're gonna go to the other egg yolk and same thing this one we don't have to go around we're actually going on in the middle because it's quite it's in a different angle that's why oops we're gonna fix that later All right, <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go here, like that, okay. I'm just gonna finger paint guys, and I hope you don't mind, but I don't mind, so. <laughs> so that I blend well. Just make sure that your hands are clean when you do this. All right, I'm gonna get some more cat yellow. Are we still recording? Yes, we are. I'm just gonna dab in some yellow. Again, guys, you don't have to copy me using my hand because uh, I just love doing this, guys, for um, blending purposes. And I know the effect already, so this is not something that I'm just experimenting today. I've done this many times, and if you're not really comfortable in using your hand in painting, it's okay, you don't have to, you can use your brush, actually. But this is more fun for me and more easy, to be honest. It's easier. I get full control of the paint, Oh, sorry about that, guys. The sound again. So again, I'm just going to get my cat yellow. We're going to be doing this for a bunch of times. All right, that's nice. I love it. So you can tell now why I love eggs. All 
as you can see I'm not blending it fully I'm trying to create some natural liquidy pattern <laughs> you know that the egg yolk has some liquid inside you know it's if it's not well done so keep going guys all right now i'm gonna get my white color i'm gonna add that to the cat yellow i'm still using my finger guys you can use your brush if you want but for comfort purposes um i'm just gonna use this one of course you can dip your finger <laughs> In the water so that it gets more uh, flowy or liquidy or more smooth yeah you can do that okay I'm just gonna dip my finger into the water I think this um, method of painting finger painting is more enjoyable to be honest it's like you're actually part of the painting because <laughs> I'm touching it <laughs> all right now I'm gonna get my oh it's quite dry now I'm gonna get my permanent yellow deep it's transparent yellow and I'm gonna apply it here in the middle it's transparent yellow so the orange will still see through or pick through it mm, it's not really though I'm gonna add a tiny bit of orange okay like that Let's go back to the egg yolk later. I'm just gonna wipe my finger to remove the paint. So you see, using acrylics, you just have to wipe your finger and it's gone. All right, you can wash your brush out now. You don't need to get a new brush for this, but because we're gonna glaze some yellowy color on the egg white so that it becomes more realistic. So I'm just gonna get now Okay, you can wipe your brush or damp it. I'm just gonna get mm, my mm, white, pure white. And let's go guys. I'm just gonna make some white color. You can water it down. We're trying to, oops, we're going to make the bubbles now. Just get your pure white like that. Okay. Actually, guys, I ran out of um, titanium white, so I'm just gonna get more. I'm gonna get my pure white. And we're just gonna apply it here. Mm. Like that. It's looking weird, right? But it, it's gonna make sense later. I'm gonna water down my white. 
kind of applied here. And it's okay if the yellow is blending. I kind of like it though. I kind of like it to be honest. All right, like that. still white and if it if there's yellow it's all right just um trust me <laughs> okay all right again i'm gonna add actually yellow intentionally adding yellow to the white mixture and then I'm going to go here. And of course, I'm going to use my, my hand. And applying it. And I'm going to use darker or the permanent yellow deep this time. It's more like intense yellow near the egg yolk. like that and you can fix some areas later we're just trying to create that natural you know fluidy um, look of the egg I'm gonna add white to my yellow I hope you can see guys white to my yellow again use my hand you can actually see me like All right, now I'm gonna add some cat yellow to my white. And we're gonna go here. All right, like that. And then I'm gonna add more white this time to the yellow so that it's more light yellow. And I'm gonna water it down. And I'm gonna apply it here on top. Again, use my fingers. You can make it as fluid as you want. So just add water so that you get that effect. Kinda like it. Water is for me, paint itself, you know? It helps me create the water thing, <laughs> the fluid effect. So I kind of like that it's flowing down because it's giving my painting some sort of movement, right? It's different when my painting is on the floor. I don't get that unless I tilt my canvas this time, I kind of like it. It's different. It's really different. Okay. All right, I'm gonna add more white this time. More white. I'm gonna go and apply it here. Like that. We're still on our painting. This is the second underpainting that we're going to do. All right, like that. Like it. Mm. Like that. 
Okay, this side, we're gonna use a lot of white in here. So we're gonna make some markings like that. Huge blobs of white, to be honest. gonna get more white all right okay I'm gonna get some gray color uh, not too much though I'm just gonna pay um, actually I need to gray this more I'm going to add some gray color and a lot of water as well. I'm just going to go and gray this part. gonna get my black color okay more black I'm just gonna dab in trying to create now the bubbles but we're under painting the bubbles guys trying to identify where the bubbles are gonna go Okay, you can wash your brush out. I'm just gonna get more white because we'll be using a lot of white in this painting. All right. So I'm just gonna get, actually guys, while waiting, I'm just gonna get my black now and I'm gonna under, I'm gonna paint the background of this egg, which is black. <laughs> All right. So again, black, and while actually painting the background, we're also waiting for some things to dry. So that I can actually get into the details of it. I'm gonna get more black because I already ran out. Okay, I'm gonna get more black. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, about the noise.
Okay, and the last corner. you can paint the sides of your um, canvas but I don't want to do it now because we're actually trying to finish the egg first all right so you can wash your brush out wash your brush out Sorry. <laughs> All right, so now, okay, I'm gonna get my pure white. Just apply it like that. Okay, here. And then try to use your fingers so that you get that natural effect. Okay. I'm going to add some yellowy color up here. And make it look like fluidy, you know, it doesn't have to be um, solid yellow or uh, yellow white or light yellow. It has to have some sort of movement and like bumps and all that. That's why I'm using a lot of water to get that effect. And you know that I love eggs, guys. We're still recording, huh? Okay. All right, like that. Okay, wash your brush out. I'm gonna get my yellowy, grayish color. So just add black to the light yellow color. And I'm gonna make this part like more fluid. Again, guys, the movement. Because I'm using a lot of water, you can tell that some of the paints are dropping. But to be honest, I kind of like it. That effect. Yeah, like that. <laughs> I kind of like that. It's the first time that I've ever experienced that one. Because I'm laying on the floor. I mean, I'm sitting on the floor. So everything is flat and there's no... Uh, gravity trying to control me. <laughs> okay, fix that. All right. Okay. I'm going to get white, pure white this time. I'm just going to make some of that. That's just pure white. Here, pure white, guys. I'm just using pure white.
Kyoshi and then get pirouette. Yeah, like that. And I'm just going to add some pure white here. And here. So I'm just trying to make some little irregular edges on the egg. that it's really just detailing guys how is it Then we're going to add some highlights now. Okay, now I'm going to add some permanent yellow deep to my white and maybe some orangey color. I'm just going to extend the egg yolk. Try to blend. Gonna add, add some orangey color. Mm, like that. Now I'm gonna add some orange plus black to make some brownie color. Brown. I'm gonna add some yellow. And we're going to color this part. It's falling. <laughs> mm -hmm. That here. Like that.
Like that. All right. Okay. Now I'm gonna add some grayish yellow. So yellow, white plus black. Okay. Add more yellow. Okay. Add more black like that. Oh, that's too. That's too. <laughs> add more yellow. It's gonna make like green already. And then make some. Add some white. Maybe this color. I'm gonna water it down and apply it near the dark portion of the egg. Try to blend, guys, so that um, you create that natural effect. Hmm. Then I'll make some lines like that. Okay. I'm going to make some more here. actually do it anywhere on the egg as long as it's going to suggest some sort of movement all right you here okay you can water it down Okay, wash your brush out. Okay, I'm gonna get some gray color, guys. So add black and white. Like this. Like uh, dark gray. And we can start going inside those. Okay, actually add white. It's too dark for me. Add some tiny, tiny details like a uh, black color, the bubbles and all that. Mm. And some will have some light gray color, not dark, just like Make some markings and all that. All right, I'm gonna get some dark black. I mean, black inside this area. We're gonna go make some dark gray, not not uh, what they call this. Um, and then apply some dark gray here and here. Again, make it as fluid, guys, as possible, because we're trying to create some realistic uh, egg. I'm going to add some gray color down here. Not too gray, though. Just enough that it's darker compared to the other portions of the egg. Alright, so I'm just gonna darken that 
and use actually my fingers to create some shadows. Gonna get more gray. This time, gonna go here, create some more bubbles. All right, I'm gonna add some more. more gray color just dab Okay, again, more gray color down here. Like that. Okay. Wash your brush up. Mm, it's starting to be like bubbles. <laughs> starting to be to look like bubbles, guys. But we're gonna glaze over it because it's, it's looking gross. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get my white, guys. White, get your white and water it down. So add a lot of water, just like when you're using watercolors, add a lot of water. And we're going to glaze over some bubbles so that it doesn't look creepy. <laughs> right. And it's also a way of making the picture look like one picture. They're not like segments. They should be they should look like one picture. So I'm just glazing over some areas. Okay, and here as well, top, like that, <laughs> here as well. dry brushing guys in glazing almost okay I'm gonna get more white and then I'm gonna add some transparent um, yeah transparent yellow go back to the egg yolk guy
Okay, wash it siya. Okay, I think I have to glaze a little bit more of my white in some areas or maybe a lot of areas. Alright, so I'm just gonna use white and a lot of water. Yes, guys, a lot of water in doing this technique. And yeah, you can, you may choose not to do it, but I'm doing it anyhow because this is how I do my paintings. I really glaze and I use a lot of water when I'm doing acrylics so it's up to you if you want to do the same thing I'm just trying to remove all those you know uh, areas that are too black we don't want that trying to erase that part Dots and blobs of white. Oops, <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm just going to dab. some dab, dabbing bumps and all that. And try to remove all the hard lines that we did if he did too. Me, I think I had so many hard lines, so I'm trying to remove them. Okay, this part. No, it's too dark. Can go around it. Okay, I'm just gonna get my pure white I'm gonna get some gray color gray and I'm just gonna glaze some areas here gonna get more of my yellow color oh, okay sorry guys wash your brush out because it's quite dirty now I'm just gonna get my yellow plus white maybe add a tiny bit of black to tone it down again white a lot of it and just go over again some areas guys you can do this a uh, whole day <laughs> to be honest Keep going. Like that. Like that. Okay. 
Okay, and then get some permanent yellow or transparent yellow. And go here. All right, I'm gonna get some orange plus black to create brown. If you have burnt sienna, go ahead and use that. Okay, I'm gonna add black so that it's more brownie. Like that. Okay, I'm going to darken this portion once more. Alright, and then I'm going to get my brown color to outline the egg yolk. Okay, you can wash your brush out. I'm gonna get more cad yellow. Oh, sorry guys. I'm gonna get my lemon yellow. I hope I... All right, so I'm just gonna get my lemon yellow. It's actually just... Hmm, I only have a few... All right. Hmm. I'm just gonna apply some lemon yellow here and here and here and as you already know I have to use my fingers that okay wash your brush out okay. you see guys for this painting I'm just using one brush I never change guys this is just the only brush that I use I'm gonna get my pure white this pure white and I'm gonna go inside some bubbles You can have this texture so by applying um, thick paints you can get the texture if, if you want Okay, I'm going to get some gray color and I'm going to water it down and apply it 
like in between or inside some areas to create some depth and shadows. You know, it's just one subject painting, but it's really, I really want this to get some details. And I'm gonna gray some areas here. I'm just gonna gray it. gonna get some black and make some dark gray this time it's gonna be dark gray and we're gonna make oh I think that's too dark anyway I can glaze it if I want to we're just going to define those rough edges guys some dots again all right and then okay I'm gonna darken this area it's like the edges of our egg it's quite dark Alright, and I'm going to darken this area as well. So I think my ASMR is finished. I think I have to rewind it. I'm sorry guys, to rewind it. Okay. To darken this area. Make some more dots. All right. Okay, guys. So this time I'll be using a more pointy brush because I have to. I'm going to get my pure white. Okay. This will take uh, some of your patience, guys. But... We're going to go around those dots. So just go around them. Only, this is, will not take a lot of your time, but your patience. Go around the dots, guys.
Okay, just go around the dots that we did. You can also make some more um, details if you want. Make some gray color. Water it down and apply it again on the edges of our painting. Also nice. <laughs> like that. Okay. Wash your brush out. I'm gonna get my permanent yellow, permanent yellow, and I'm gonna glaze over our egg. Just gonna go around it, and here as well. Mm, what's that? Now I'm going to get my cad yellow. You can already tell how many times we went over um went over the the egg yolk. That's because it has to be layered, guys, so that we really get that depth all right okay you can get some gray color again gray color and this we're just gonna gray some areas near the drop i mean near the the bubble like that Blend it quite nicely. Alright, like that. Okay, get your black color. Wash your brush out. And I'm gonna remove some hard lines that I did. I'm gonna get my white. 
and water it down. I'm going to make some glazing so that I remove those hard lines. Just glaze. Alright, just glaze, guys. Make some gray color again. Yeah. Okay, and then get some more dark gray for dotting all right like that okay you can get your white pure white and go around again those dots some patterns here okay. edges Okay, white, highlight. I'm gonna gray this area because, yeah, it's not pure white. And then I'm gonna get pure white. I'm gonna remove the hide the hard lines like that. I'm gonna add some yellowy color so that it will suggest some egg yolk like flowing <laughs> right then I'm gonna get my white and yellow I'm gonna glaze over something here because it's quite hard i mean the lines are we don't want that we're going to remove all the hard lines that we did we're not actually removing the lines we're just trying to eliminate the harshness of the lines by glazing over it all right and then again as i told you guys you can use as much water as you want so that you create that effect kind of like the effect it makes my painting more fluidy yeah I like it okay just 
just try to control it, the flow, but I kind of like the, you know, the look of it. And I think I have to glaze even more. I'm gonna use my what? It's quite, I don't know, it's quite goth. I find it really, really dark. Make some white color. glazing just like water okay I like it I like this drop drop effect so that I get that watery nature of the egg <laughs> I know guys that it's really technical and you probably are not a fan of that but I want to show you how it's done. At least my way. Okay. If you see some drops that are not supposed to be in there, just wipe it like that. It will leave other areas more natural. And, you know, I like it. I really like it. Get some white color. that just for the edges and then I'm gonna make some more here I'm just going to extend the egg yolk. Okay. And then get some brownie color by combining orange and black. Again, uh, I'm gonna glaze again, guys. I'm just gonna use a big uh, brush and I'm gonna use my white, pure white, but with a lot of water. And we're gonna glaze, guys. We're gonna glaze because. I can still see some hard lines that I don't like. So I'm just gonna get my 
big brush and I'm gonna make some watered down white paint and I'm gonna go over and glaze guys yeah just glaze and remove all the harshness of those black things we don't want that I don't want that Okay, again. Like that. Okay, I'm just gonna let it, dry, uh, let it dry for a while. Like so. And when it's dry, let me see that. Now it's, yeah, I like it more. Okay, I'm gonna get now my cad yellow. Go back to my egg white, I mean egg yolk. It's nice. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna get my black color and I'm just gonna fix some areas down here because of the paints. actually nice and I'm just gonna allow the flowy white to really uh, do its job <laughs> in there okay now I'm gonna get pure white we're almost done we're almost done guys pure white we're gonna highlight again and go back to some areas that needs to be like pure white I'm just gonna dab.
I really like how the flowy thing is going on. I'm gonna fix the egg yolk. I have to erase this part. It's quite, yeah, it's quite weird. Okay, wash up, brush out. <laughs> Gonna get some gray color. Color the edges. Just fixing some areas. This looks nice. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get my pure white again. It's trying to correct some areas. like that okay I have to sign it now so I'm just gonna use my white now okay We've done our egg and I love it. I love it guys. But uh, again, as usual. I'm just trying to fix the yolk. Okay.
All right. Okay. <laughs> I think we're done. We're done, guys. Yay! So I hope you do this one as well. It's amazing to be painting on an easel. <laughs> yeah, hey. So thanks for watching, guys. See you on my next video. <laughs> guys.